What gets me excited about science is the absolutely incredible things that scientists are doing. They can look at one brain cell and they can look at the nerve impulse as it travels through a single neuron. It's just incredible. Fundamental science is important because it has to come before applied science. We need to know the fundamentals of what's happening before we can start to apply that to larger systems and more applicable systems. We are very interested in boundaries and interfaces because there's a lot of very unique science that happens at these interfaces. So the widths of these boundaries that you're looking at in your activity are very similar to the widths of the boundaries that we're looking at in our research. Almost the size of the atoms themselves. A lot of diseases occur due to the presence of interfaces in our bodies. The interface that we specifically care about in our lab is that interface between the outside of the cell, where that cell membrane is touching the liquid. Whenever you get sick from the flu, there is a virus that is binding to the surface of, of your cells. And it's because of the surface properties that this virus can bind. We are looking at neurodegenerative disorders. And we believe that a, the fundamental way that these diseases progress is via surface interactions between copper or other metal ions with the very surface of this cell membrane. I'm looking at how metal ions bind to this model membrane. So, so for example, copper, a nickel, a zinc, looking to see how these metal ions are able to bind to this kind of like a toy system. What happens when we put different kinds of membranes in? Does that make the binding stronger? or does it make it weaker? If we put different kinds of membranes in, does that help the membrane to stop from getting destroyed? It's extraordinarily helpful with medicines.